All right, chat room. Welcome. Sorry to adjust some levels here, <clears throat> some audio levels. All right, hello everybody. Welcome. We are here today playing some Alone in the Dark. It's back. It's got detective music in the beginning. And uh, yeah, we're here. Um, we're playing a new survival horror game, which is, you know, always great. Obviously, this is a, you know, kind of a reboot, um, of things, you know, the seventh installment in the Alone in the Dark franchise. First time in a while. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm kind of going in blind with this one. I haven't looked up any, you know, reviews or anything like that, um, and uh, we're just going to play this thing, you know. Um, this will be part one. I'll be live for a few hours today. Uh, and then, um, you know, we'll try to just see how how it is. Uh, just check it out, you know. So we'll sink uh, probably a handful of hours into this today. See where we end up. And then I'll kind of give you my thoughts when we wrap it up. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know what to expect, you know. I know, obviously, like, the trailer that I saw. I never... I didn't play the demo. I know the demo was short. Um, but, yeah. We'll, we'll see how this is. I know some people are worried. Not a lot of people know how this is going to turn out. And some people are curious. So, uh, that's why I stream this stuff. So, some people don't have to if it ends up being bad, right? So... Uh, I say the same thing with every new game. I just try to shut out all the outside noise, go in, see how I like it as a fan of horror and these kind of games. Um, but yeah, we're just um, adjusting stuff here. But yes, what's up everybody in the house? I see all you guys coming in. We got Quentin Bauer in here, fellow member. He says, ready to experience this with LTRE and the community. Thank you. Ari Freak says, is this a new Silent Hill remake? It's not. Chaos, what's up? Uh, hopefully it's optimized well for PC. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I, I don't know how, how it's doing over there. Guardian, what's up? Says, her Dragon's Dogma 2 isn't running well on Steam Deck, and that saddens me. Yeah, Steam Decks are seem like a waste of money at this point uh, with how often that happens. Um, uh, let's see. Revelatio, another member, says, surprisingly, I never played the OG. The game has an enticing... Uh, title and seems to have a great story plot. Perry, what's up, man? Hope you're getting getting better. Um, he says, "Alone in the fart." Play the 2013 version. Well, that's always something I could play after the fact. I never knew that this would actually be the first Alone in the Dark I would play on the channel, but I guess it's just timing. I guess of you know this game just kind of coming out in the in the wave of survival horror, um, you know, remakes, reboots, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Guardian still owns the OG on 3DO. OG version is a piece of shit game. The later games are better, says Perry. Yeah, I've only played the, the very first one for a little bit, and then I play the PS1 version um, of Alone in the Dark. So I don't have much of an opinion on the whole franchise, you know, just so people know going in. I won't know a lot of references. I won't know a lot of, you know, the characters, callbacks, and stuff like that. I'm not too into the lore and stuff, but I'm assuming this game is going to be presented in a way where, um, you know, you can kind of understand it and they're going to, you know, reintroduce everything. Um, Aaron, what's up, brother? Yeah, I know you're not going to be sticking around much for this, but thanks for coming in. I know you're going to play it yourself. Perry says, 360 Alone in the Dark. Fred Stream was the best version up until this point. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Lucia, uh, let's see, 20th reboot, like Texas Chainsaw, yeah, very, very, uh, weird franchise, this, uh, ha very weird pattern this has, so, 
Garden says, why does it seem like every time they put a big-name celebrity in here, it immediately sucks? Well, I guess I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, we'll be doing uh, the podcast tonight. Um, as Perry, Well, since Perry said it, yes, he says that uh, he's still just recovering. He might not be uh, out of the, uh, the hospital for a little bit. He's okay. Everything's good. But uh, we'll, we will be holding down the fort for game complainers tonight. It will still be happening. Perry will just call in for a little bit, and uh, we can chat some stuff. We'll be able to talk about this game, too. Yeah, John uh, F- John Fabek. Yes, I hope that uh, the game is good as well. I'm hoping so. What's up, Seabash? Happy Wednesday. Quinn's been a member for 26 months. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Um, let's see here. We got Lucius in here. Says, okay, get better soon, and we'll be listening. Yes, definitely. Lucius has been a member for eight months. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Never played Alone in the Dark, says Counts. This would be good to watch. Perry's been a member since 2009. Well, technically, yes, you have been. You've been supporting since then. Um, Let's see. Uh, I've heard good things so far about this game. Yeah, I haven't really heard much uh in the community considering i think this just came out at 10 a.m eastern standard time so literally about two hours ago um a game coming out on a wednesday is also very strange um normally i would be doing this on like a friday or whatever but yes uh thank you for bearing with me i'm just kind of catching up on the chat it's good to see a good turnout here for a wednesday afternoon of all things so gang's talking what's going on my alone who, who liked the ps3 360 game legendary had alone vibes legendary is that what it's called i haven't played that um but yeah it's up stevie mac yes send good vibes to perry everybody he will be back in action soon oh my god niles 10 a.m what's up uh milf man in the house that's his name so i ain't just saying it i ain't just talking about you know what so but all right Hit that like button if you guys are coming in here. We're going to see how the beginning of this game is, and we'll see how far, you know, four or five hours or so will take us. So that's probably that's how long I'll be streaming. kind of want to give myself a little bit of time in between this and Game Complainers. So we won't be streaming all day, but we will be, uh, yeah, trying to figure this out. All right. K has been a member for 30 months. One of the longest running members. So Spooky Wednesday with LTRE. Let's go. Showing off those member emojis. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Gular's in the house. Damn, I want to see if anyone can beat 30 months. It's it's tough. I think the longest running member, I think, is... Uh, it's either K... I know Nick Noguera's up there. Dave is up there, too. And uh, Jackie Boy. Those are, like, the longest running. Those are, like, one of the top members right there. All right. Delete all save files. I like how that's an option. All right. Um, We're definitely going to do standard. Cracked when? <laughs> Hopefully soon, Perry. So you can play this thing if you feel like playing it. Uh, I'm way up there. And gang's talking says. Um, yeah, we're just going to do standard. Uh, here we go. Difficulty guidance. Extra help provides to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful. For those who want to figure out everything for themselves, no extra system to guide the players. Hmm. I guess it depends on how hard it is, right? It's saying we can switch it in the gameplay. Activated and deactivated through the options menu. What's up, Mountain Arts? We'll do old school, right? We'll just throw ourselves to the wolves.
to Frago. Nice. Angel says the alien trail looking promising and it could be like prey like prey and it looks great. Is there a new alien trailer? Alone in the dark. So it's my uncle. David Harbour. Turn this up. Sorry. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically we are playing this on a series X. Driven mad before they grow old. I think I held on my membership for half a year. Anyways, it's great to be but a part Jeremy of the didn't Yeah, Revelation. Thank you, man. Is that why he's at their setup? It came out 30 minutes ago. Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, yeah, this is like, he decided to put his I think it dropped 10 a.m. Eastern Grey Standard Time, at least analysis, here or so. Figuring you might stumble upon some cure. All right, so she's showcasing that her family You mentioned the letter. is a little crazy. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to eat him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. And what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. I oh, mean the alien trailer. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Let's check it out. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Oh shit, okay. So you literally choose the character we want to play. So Emily Hartwood plays Jody Comer. And Edward Carnby, David Harbour. Damn. Um I didn't think we'd actually be choosing characters, to be honest with you. Um I, I mean maybe that was a more known thing and I just was not aware. Um shit. So I guess if you play um, from, you could play different perspectives, you know. Dwayne Johnson in the house. Hell yeah, it's alone in the dark time. Yeah, people are talking about the Alien uh, trailer. I will be checking it out later. Pretty sure Paul Mercer's voice is one of the characters. <laughs> I believe it, Lucius. I believe it. Um, Shit, I don't know, chat room. What do you think? Jody or... Should we go with, uh, Edward looks like Teddy Roosevelt in the hoochie. <laughs> yeah, I know, seriously. Apparently, Ken, uh, Ken Wolf, someone was saying it does not run well on the Steam Deck. I can say that. I don't think the person in the chat would just say that if it wasn't true. So, just be warned. People are picking, I'm thinking Harbor, too. Just because I actually don't mind his acting. I know people are like, ugh, you know, David Harbour, we get it, Stranger Things, but 
Yeah, we're, let's go with the OG, man. I, I'm leaning towards him. And if we do a second playthrough, we will play through her and get her perspective because that's what's kind of cool. I mean, that's that's some cool replay value, I guess, to like, you know, play as a different character. The story might be the same, but you see Hello? her perspective, you know. Hello? It gives you Look the full the story. It can't be. There has to be some. But I'll see how they kind of tell it between two characters because I don't know if it's going to be exactly the same or... I'll go around back. Like, if we picked her, would it be him opening the door? Like, that kind of stuff. Get a Lenovo Legion Go. Problem solved, says Perry. Yeah, that's apparently way better than the Steam Deck. Um, Perry and Frank did play the Steam Deck, but they weren't very happy with it. Like, it was okay for them. But, yeah, the Lenovo Legion Go is apparently superior. So, all right, here we are. So, we got our over-the-shoulder perspective. Lift her away inside the house. All right. What is this, uh, engine? Just hanging? All right, so we have... I mean, I have a feeling there will be ammo in this game, but it probably will be scarce. Um... Now, what do we got here? The lady knocking on the door in the game. I thought it was the nurse knocking on my door. <laughs> Ooh, the kitchen garden key. Okay. Oh, okay, so the so R R is the flashlight. Y crouches. And then... Carnby, why am I hearing from Gloria that you got some job at the loony bin? You better be thinking of paying her off before me. I don't want to take you for a ride, so get my money and I'll be at the Maca Bean all night if you score some dough. Obed Morton. State Board Private Investigator. Louisiana State Board of Private Invest. What the hell? You could have someone. A combi. Why am I hearing from? You could have them read it in their voice. That's very interesting. Desetto, the old plantation building, was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpetbagger called Doctor Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the this door. This is just the beginning. Detective Combi figured they would just head inside and go. Alright, very interesting. Sub Studios, what's up? Favorite horror OST? Oh, man. I mean, anything from the original Halloween to, yeah, The Thing. Mostly anything from John Carpenter. Fly's a great one. Dwayne says it doesn't matter who you choose. It's similar, similar similarities, the different... Difference are the endings I read. Okay, interesting. He's got a 401k ad on the video. Good old YouTube. This is just the beginning. I mean, the aiming seems pretty pretty smooth. I mean, it's, it's running pretty smooth, too. That's very, uh, very Ari remake-esque. Nothing wrong with it, though. Pistol bullets. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Chain door. So, Man Souls was pretty good, Sean. Uh... I did really enjoy that. I'm looking forward to the sequel. Love how it looks so much like Ari. Yeah, they definitely took a, a straight page out of the Ari remake book for this. Which, it, it's it's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm happy to see this kind of, you know, redone up like this. 
All right, I see that spot back there, but I just want to kind of look around and see if there's anything else that we're missing here. Okay, for that. All right. Let me. I think it's supposed to come out in the fall. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I know they show the trailer, but, um... Hmm. Is that a book in there? A book in a bucket? How the fuck are we gonna get that? The Baker family house. Something tells me this will be a little bit different. This one big tree to fit inside a conservatory. Damn. The housekeeper key. All right. Keys look very similar. What did he see? I don't think I saw what he saw. He can run. Okay. Is there a quick turn? Okay, like B, like shoves. Okay. So be like. Hoo. He's got a drink for health. That's why we've got to take our time and look. Uh, yeah, Tormented Souls is on PlayStation. Um, and PC, I believe. Keeper's, Keeper's Diary. Sorry. Excuse the yawn. I didn't get as much sleep last night as I would have liked. Um... Uh, Kira's Diary is going to be hitting in April. So that is the plan. April, April, April. Keeper's Diary. Is WCW Man on PS7? It's always on PS7. WCW, NWO Thunder. Now on PS6. Welcome. To Dracetto? Draketto? Dracetto? Uh, is there a map? It looks like there is, and there's a bunch of things you can find. But I don't have a map. Like, it's, like, when I try to go over to it, it's not there yet, so we probably just have to pick it up. And then we'll have it. Don't mind if I do. So looks like there's a bunch of list of collectibles. WCW now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> now Thunder. Family Bible. It's a clue. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. Thank you, Kula. I appreciate I that. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good There's use There's the cult again. Me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, -gris. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. 
She says, the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Hmm. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Hmm. Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm. Do not be Who are so you, okay? to Jesus sacrifice Christ. the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. That's so interesting. So it's like, if... So they're, they're talking about the cult. They're talking about, you know, the goat without horns or with horns. But it's very interesting because, like, you can read it. So if I just read that file back to you, um, you wouldn't have heard that extra dialogue at the end. So it's very interesting. It's almost like, you know, you hear it from the person's voice who wrote it, you know? Perry says, you have to let me know about June so I could set it up. Set what up? About, uh, for the shop's anniversary? I think we already confirmed that. I'll be good for the, um, uh, for June. Um, if that's what you're talking about. I don't know if you're talking about something else. The goat with horns. Um, yeah, because the first, the weekend of the, like, the 7th, 8th, 9th, like I said, that weekend, I'll be, I won't be available that, like I said, that weekend, because I think I have a, like I said, I have two weddings, one I'm being a best man, and the other one I'm, a, I'm attending, um, and one is going to be on the 1st, and the other one is going to be on the, the 8th, so it's like a week apart, so that following week will be when I'm available in June, um, I think I mentioned that to you, but if I didn't, uh, so it would be, you know, the weekend of the the 14th, 15th, 16th. I'm pretty sure that's what we talked about. All right. Get some pistol bullets. Don't mind if I do. I like how they have the little indicators. I don't know what we're looking for. Alright, we're stocking up on some pistol ammo. I think there's, um... If I'm not mistaken, I think there's melee weapons in this game, too. So, it might be like a, uh... You know... Kind of a mix between melee combat and, uh... You know, trying to balance that with, uh, with bullets... Is there combat in this game? Yeah, I, I, it's uh, it's very. What's up, Frank? It's a very slow start for sure, you know. Um, th but that's expected. But I think there will be. I wonder how well the combat will flow, you know, with its, given the fact that this is like, you know, again a little bit different than Resident Evil because it also, you know, has um. Not that Resident Evil doesn't have any kind of you know. Melee items per se. I guess when it comes to uh. Like, RE4 Remake having the parry and everything like that. Where this seems a little more, you know, scaled down. So, we'll see. We're picking up a bunch of stuff. Rat poison. Squeal no more. Rat and vermin killer. Frank, why are you here, says Barry. Why not? What was that? Okay, so that is, I guess, part of the collectibles. 
because they, they mentioned that. Carry over to the game. Okay. Interesting. Uh, well, after Cold Fear. Cold Fear did win the poll. That Fatal Frame was on. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be doing Cold Fear. Uh, going to be kicking it off uh, the first part this week. And then uh, when I beat Cold Fear, then, you know, there'll be another poll for more survival horror stuff. So we're going to take it one survival horror game at a time. And, uh... Hmm. Yes, this looks like a looks like a puzzle just for the boiler. What's up, Najib? Hope you're well. Why does he run like he's constipated? He does run a little slow. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up, and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. That's what I've heard. Um, that Cold Fear does play a lot like RE4. Alright, so the boiler ain't working. But the shit ain't fixed. A broken valve. Okay. Yeah, we're getting into it, you know. Uh, there could be an RE game announced this summer. We'll see. See if Capcom decides to do their own event. Oh, that's just showing it's locked, but it doesn't have a key prompt, so I wonder if we can still unlock that. Pistol bullets? Don't mind if I do. Oh, the Hitman 2 run. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's really what it is. Ah, here we go. Alright, we got our map. Our first map. I think the blue rooms are what's been completed. Um, oh, and the plaza key. Okay. Nice. Locked medicine box. Well, we can't lock it with that. One thing that is kind of cool is you can play this with. Uh, 47 runs to the bathroom in that game. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. Looking for Jeremy? I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he would do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one label. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Hmm. So there's some fucking weird shit going on here. What's up, Back from the Dead? Fellow member. We have my wife in Boston waiting for a friend to arrive at PAX East. Nice, man. Enjoy PAX. This game already got cracked on PC. A new world record. Damn, that's... That's awesome. 
considering it's been out for what like two or three hours at this point so very interesting uh, map is updated with information about the world including locked doors and unsolved puzzles yes so we need to I need the key. It's not that key. It's this one. Just have to go upstairs. Oh, this just takes us to the patio. Okay. So we're already out here. Does this game have combat? It does. We just haven't seen oh. it yet. Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear Not you sure, Sean. anymore. Not sure, Sean. Just started it, None so. None of us can. I'll let you know how I feel about it once I get into Jeremy. it a little bit more. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before... Paris says, are you sure you want to do a full playthrough on this game? Yeah, you know. What? It's probably going to be hard. He ran off? But... I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank he you, He says Mallory. we're just going to go up here ourselves. Look around. See if we can dig up any clues. Search Jeremy's room for clues. Locked box. I need another. Wow, he's crafting some uh some evil shit. 360 version is more like RE says Perry. Oh, it's not hard, but another word, which I will not use here. <laughs> Capcom announced the Diner Crisis this year. Eh, you never know. You never know. It would be awesome. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan. This is the uncle I keep seeing, the, uh, the dark itself. man. The shadow. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Terraweya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi? 
back from the beyond. Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, senor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher where you may rest and I shall wait. So the battered boiler in the basement leads to the cemetery or how the old upstairs clock with his motifs should be the hateful mound inside the, the Claremont Harbor. Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance to be small to see Torella? I want them more than anything. Please let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under the body tree bloody tree despite having sold me the talisman and miss jackson like voodoo priestess revealed none of the secrets to me that's why i had to travel uh to tonkre instead she uh cruelly told batiste batista my caretaker that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way that the one he loved would pierce the thigh with a sharp spear and that he would be devoured by his own mother what a terrible thing to say uh, the people of Dorsetta are becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they're doing, and I must do something to stop them. I'll try to talk to Dr. Gray, but he fuses my worries. Um, he is caught up in treating me. How can we expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? Um, the orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all damaged. Or, sorry, deranged. Um, they will call upon to enter this world. All will be lost in everything. I can I can find the clerk, Mr. Waits. He seems to be clear thinking man. The dark man offered a, a offered me a prison and I accepted. I signed that uh miscarry contract and entered a dark pact. Everyone is safe except for me. Jesus. Okay, those are the emblems that we saw on the um on the puzzle there. Perry wants me to refund this game. Well, you know, at least if I play it, other people don't have to, you know. I found a book full of peculiar notes. Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. What's that? Nice one. Ken. I might be reading too much into this, but I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. Sounds like a clue. Sounds like a clue. We don't have a key for that either. Lots of locked things. But we do have... Nice. What's up, Pizza Face? Hey, you know anything about? I don't really have a verdict on this yet. I just started playing it. No, we'll I don't. see. I'm just getting into it. Oh, help me out here, will you? I already made a video on that, Leon. I'm not gonna touch that one here. Kill the guy. Throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. This is porn stash. Oh, wow. That's striking. I want to save this one. I'm assuming that's her uncle. Reflection. The power of something. I can't read that.
All right, come on. Hmm. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Something happened there. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. He's like, what the hell? Whoa. Miss Hartwood. Shadow glitches. Emily? Investigate the corner store. Okay. So we are transported into a different area. And where the hell did she go? Why did she just peace out like that? It's about time we get to our first enemy. I don't know what the fuck that is, though. It's like a plant monster. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Well, if I can't reload my fucking gun. Oh shit, he's following me. Yay, headshot. Ooh. Now you're on the trolley. Kill a monster Christ. with a ranged weapon. What the hell was that? It's like the old RE4 uh, health bar, right? What's up, Cam May? Oh, shit. Well, can't see. Thank you for the four ninety nine super chat, Kevin. Man. A little alcohol to heal. Him walking around in the mocap suits. See, yeah, I know, right? The process behind the madness. Uh, I, you know, so far it's not too bad. I'm not like, you know, completely blown away by this or anything. But, uh, you know, I also am in within the first hour. So I will be, um, the judge of whether or not, you know, at least in my opinion, how it kind of on? feels. I mean, so far, this isn't too bad in terms of, like, how it looks performance-wise. It's not running the greatest on the Series X right now. Um, I mean, it's running smooth, but, like, I've, I have seen dips and weird shadow glitches and stuff so far. <clears throat> um, but, as you can see, it does run pretty... I can just ring the bell. It does run pretty um, smooth frame rate wise during the gameplay and the combat. Um, like it doesn't completely dip or anything like that, but. Maybe she's an illusion. Yeah, maybe. I think you check the trash can for her ammo. Lots of uh, things to explore. 
Lots of bells to, to hit, I guess. Items can be thrown at enemies. Distract them. Tab RT to quickly hold an item and then RT to aim. Is it doing this because there's an enemy around or? I'll just keep them there. Looks like it wants me to throw something. Some more ammo. Yeah, I've been kind of keeping, you know, I, I know that the ratings are kind of coming out for this, so I haven't seen much of it yet. So I kind of wanted to go in a bit blind. Um, and, you know, I, I'm sure there's going to be more stuff way. coming out throughout the day because people are playing it, you know. All right, we got the hatchet. Very nice. How do we... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. How do we switch weapons? Det How do I switch to the axe? I need the key. Locked gate. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Ken. There's definitely um, a lot of the horror stuff now is remakes or reboots or whatever. That is true. It is nice when we get, you know, something new. Um, this just being, you know, something of a reboot itself. Um, so, I, I know what you mean. Sometimes it is nice to get original horror-esque games. It's just very few and far between. The first time I get to see him live on his own channel. There you go. What's up? Good to see you. Pipe. Okay, we have a pipe and axe. I don't even know how to. Nice. Tap RB to quick attack. Hold RB for heavy attack. Okay. Oh, can we only pick up one melee? Okay, so we can only pick up one melee item. Okay, RB is the melee. Okay. So that's a heavy attack. Uh, I don't know, Ken. I mean, I think something like Tormented Souls experimented with fixed camera angles. That wasn't a triple-A title, but it did, you know, pretty well. I, I don't know if a, a company would um take the risk, like a triple-A company, to do that. Oh, shit. My weapon broke. Well, if that axe broke already, then the weapons are not very strong. Yeah, I put slow mode on there, though, because, you know, I, a lot of people spam stuff in the chat sometimes, and... You know, I need to manage it. What the fuck noises is this guy making? <laughs> Sounds like he's having sex. It's David Harper, man. Yes, I have heard about the fixed camera mod. I will be um, checking that out eventually. Oh, shit. <gasps> Let them get inside, Carl Bear. They're not the good kind. Are you... Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy's... Jeremy's story. How? A pack with the dog, man. 
Jamba warned us, but we didn't think much of it. That's what his book told us, that he made a pact with the Dark Man. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. If you were thinking, man, come <laughs> Nice one, Perry. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess. I was gonna say it's all messing you know, with voodoo. Some things, compad. Yeah, the Mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can <laughs> so let me unlock the gate and let the them way. all in. Thanks. I'll have a look. Okay. There are three keys on the chain. One that opens up Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. Then there are two belonging to the Dossetto, one of the clerk's office, and one for the library. Preserved reptile, a snake. Yeah, I notice there's a lot of collectibles that you can get in this. I, th I doubt we'll be getting all of them, but. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. It looks like. Looks like the I'll, I'll suck you don't be a menace, like exactly like him, same clothes even. <laughs> he's got the he's got the the old like nineteen twenties aesthetic. My weapon broke. All right. So we got the keys that we need, at least for now. I seen the clip of, of who he looks like. Okay. Yeah, I'll check it out. Hopefully we get some more melee weapons with, like, more durability. Looks like Bioshock Infinite mixed with Silent Hill. I just sent the clip 30 seconds long. Watch these. Watch these now. It's him. Let's see. <laughs> oh 
Oh man. <laughs> I I can't argue with that one. That is him. That does. <laughs> oh. Oh shit, this is some ritual shit. Whoa. See another one up there. I'm expecting another one to come down the steps. I hear you. There you are. I don't have to waste all the ammo, but shit, I don't really have a choice. Okay. More collectibles. Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. Do you know where this Jeremy has been? Now this game is picking it's up. Yeah, now we're getting a little. Like the one in the painting. Now we're getting some some stuff going on. All right. In between, there are doors. Find your own talisman. The engraving of the numbers look like to be less than a hundred years old, but these are but the base could be uh let's see, the polished black sunstone. So is this isn't this isn't even like a it's just an artifact? Oh, uh, use the talisman to get back. Okay, so that's gonna be how we I think it's meant for the talisman. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Hmm. Well, it looks like we've got a first puzzle. Doesn't let me. Doesn't let me select that. It says A, but it doesn't let me. I guess I can't unlock that. Can't unlock this either. Can I lock this? Okay, so I guess we gotta look at his. Yeah, the others with Nicole Kidman. Yeah, that's that's one that uh, takes place. It's in the twenties, right? So, I should probably just take a picture of this, right? Because... Because I have to match it just like how it is in here. Um.
Let's see if I can. Because it's more like here. And. Three. So that looks about right. I feel like that's close to it. Because eight would be on this side. Wow, okay. I mean, he has five, three, and eight circled. And. I see the numbers on the 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 side here. something I'm missing here. Like, I feel like L.A. Noir, right? I mean, that's the closest thing. Like, all these other sketches don't match up with the talisman. And it says talisman plates. And I see five, three, and then eight circled. Um... Let me see. Because in that case, the eight would be like, like four. Does it make sense though? Hmm. So 
five. There's so many numbers to keep track of, but... So... And then four and six. So I feel like... I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Because, like, his notes don't make sense because it's like two, six, three, two. It's like the numbers aren't like that. <laughs> like, they don't mat, like. It's almost like I'm using like a useless note because it's like it doesn't Again, like I see the numbers of each of the three, you know, layers basically, but they don't, like, it's almost like it, he doesn't write anything in his note about numbers, it's just the picture. the other emblems aren't like they're not they're not lined up so uh because there's numbers on the outside but I'm also trying to like see it like okay does that matter too you know what I mean
Oh. Okay. I didn't even mean to do that, but okay. place. Where is that? Huh. Oh, maybe it's in the glowing room. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. Very hard to you don't happen to have believe that all this stuff is real or actually going on. It's not in his head right now. Into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dosetto, Dosetto. detective. Dosetto, I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a side. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... he might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Hmm. Interesting. Chapter two. All right, so now we're kind of more getting into it. That was definitely more of just like an introduction chapter, getting used to the gameplay mechanics, a puzzle, some combat. Detective Carnby, how did you... Where the fuck did you go? Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. So far, so good, no. John. It's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive, and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective, I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Yeah, let's separate. Again! Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? T Tarawea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. 
Detective, are you gonna be all right? Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray, we'll rendezvous later. He said, yeah. I got this, I don't got this. This talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Tarawea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. So it could just transport you, like, to where you need to go? All right. Very interesting. Yeah, like, stuff like that, like, little frame dips like that seem to happen. Other than that, it's it does run pretty smooth. Saw your notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam from pouring out. Be careful. All right, so that's for the boiler. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Sandra Beauregard, the beloved author. Very exciting, isn't it? What do you want to put down for reason for admission? What her agent told us. Cassandra suffers from writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Mr. Chardot suggests Cassandra's heavy use of barbiturates is holding her back and risks ruining her career. And how should we summarize her personal history? Let's keep it short. Cassandra Beauregard is a beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping off a balcony. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on her wheelchair. And for diagnostic impressions? Cassandra suffers chronic back pain following her suicide attempt. She self-administers morphine to keep herself ambulant but has become addicted and the desired effect is now lost. The drug abuse clouds her mind and she is unable to focus on real life. To save herself from this insight, she instead makes up stories to fill out the gaps in her own thought process, resembling the Korsakoff syndrome. Oh, bravo, Doctor. How will you treat her? First of all, she needs to be weaned from her drug addiction and hopefully it will resolve her compulsive lying. Then look into permanently numbing her pain in her back through surgery. Finally, deal with her suicidal thoughts. Fantastic. With such a short time before June, I really hope she gets better soon. We will do what we can. Grace Saunders, 11 years old. Reason for admission? The mother insists on strict supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion. So all these people we've seen are all patients of this Personal doctor. History. Very interesting. Grace's family possesses modest wealth and Dr. status. Dr. Gray. Her childhood seems ordinary, spending most of her time with private teachers and family friends. Grace's father recently passed away, leaving her mother the sole caregiver. And diagnostic impressions? Grace has trouble dealing with her father's death. She is willingly suppressing her feelings on the matter and isn't properly acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Any planned treatment? Grace needs nothing out of the ordinary. 
She simply needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings toward her father. Thank you, Doctor. I'll finish the paperwork and get her installed. Malcolm McCarthy, 54 years of age. Reason for admission? McCarthy admitted himself to Dossetto, stating simply that he needs some damn rest. And personal history. McCarthy claims he used to work as a lawyer in Baton Rouge, but says he can't go into details because of some legal dispute. His background remains largely a mystery, except for the occasional clue that he drops in conversation. Huh. And diagnostic impressions? McCarthy is an anxious man and an alcoholic. He often tells half-truths due to some deep-seated inability to trust other people. And how will you treat that? McCarthy will take some time to open up. Spending time with Jack's dog or the child should be good for him. Their harmless nature will help build his sense of trust. Thank you, Doctor. Elisabetta Perosi, 33 years old? What should I put down as reason for admission? Well, Perosi broke into Dorsetto and was found wandering the Grand Parlor. She was confused and suffered partial amnesia. She insisted she belonged here and offered to pay for her stay. Right. What do you make of her story? Perosi claims to have been a member of the Astarte artist colony some 20 years ago. A claim that seems contrafactual due to her young age. She looks to be and even thinks she is 33 years of age. That would make her a child at the time. It seems fair to say that Perosi's story is untrue, deliberately so or not. Diagnostic impressions? Do you have anything? Perosi's story is peculiar, because she retracted her story about the artist colony. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elisabetta Perosi. However, my staff's research has confirmed there was a Perosi at that time who was in her early 30s. I suppose this case will take some time to investigate. How will you go about it? I wanted to contact the real Perosi, but it seems the whole colony disappeared one night. September 29th, 1915, during a hurricane. I will have to take it slow and figure out what this spell of impersonation could have been. Oh, I'm sure it will all clear up eventually. Thank you, Doctor. Um, Ruth Talon. 29 years of age. Reason for admission? Oh, Ruth's father wishes that his daughter be removed from New Orleans nightlife for the foreseeable future. He fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. Sounds simple enough. Personal history? Ruth comes from considerable wealth. Her family owns several hotels and restaurants. Unlike the rest of the family, her sense of adventure has taken her around the world, including France during the Great War as a photojournalist. The last decade, she has provoked many rumors of being a debauched flapper, bordering on nymphomania. And diagnostic impressions? Despite her father's frivolous reasons for her to be admitted, Ruth does seem to provide an interesting case. She is refreshingly open and doesn't shy away from talking about her life during the war or her continuous celebration after returning to the States. She is admittedly a sexual deviant and feels no remorse. And her treatment plan? Simply staying at Dorsetto should do wonders for Ruth. If not, at least for her family's reputation. Ruth My doesn't games. need to change, but with therapy I might be able to... Share with her some sympathy towards her family. I doubt she will settle down and become as dull as the rest of them, but at least she might try to be more discreet in the future. All right. Well, that was very long-winded, but we got all the patients far. So what I'm picking up is that every patient here is troubled to some degree. I mean, obviously, but they all see this doctor, which is very sketchy. Because I also feel like there's probably some truth to this, but there's also something else that... Looks like all the patients are accounted for. It's yeah, Jeremy's there. not there either. So that's why it's, like, very sketchy. It's like, why would they hide? There's no way I can get into this thing. 
Better leave it alone. Yeah, I don't have a combination yet, at least that I've run run into. All right, I like it though. It's kind of filling in the uh, the story a little bit. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear. Damn you, Jeremy. Right now, Fucking up it's the boiler. that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Hmm. Now, we saw the well, but we had nothing to, uh, like, retrieve that bucket that's in there. I need the key. Okay, so there's none of these. I'm not going to walk out of this now. I need to help Emily save her uncle. Yvette, what's going on? Oh, okay. Like some kind of rot. Hmm. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace book. Huh. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room, but it's broken and missing some pieces. I can't use anything on that. Okay. I don't think we can come up here yet anyway. You're working? Well, hopefully it's going well for you. Yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, girl about yay high. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. But we can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. But one thing that's interesting is that... Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective. And I'll scratch yours. Like, he's not... The detective's not mentioning any of, like, the monsters or anything to anybody. It's like, you know, you're talking to all these people, and it's like, yeah, I just fucking shot, like, seven or eight things outside. Like, can we talk about that? Looks like everything's back to normal here. Yeah, so we were already here. Room key six. Emily is here. Emily is here. Interesting. Watch eleven and f and Finn Wolf are will appear from a random portal and show up in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's crazy that they're doing this, like you know, this jumping with the talisman thing. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. It's kind of borderline dealing with like the voodoo and stuff like that. Boxing gloves. Fountain pen. All right. Nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Yeah, 
we do need some fucking replenished ammo. Ah, there we go. Room number six. Huh. How eccentric. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination Another one from without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Hmm. Yeah, the, the thing is with this game is you don't have to play any other previously Alone in the Dark. This is kind of just like, you know, you can kind of get into it following this story. So, oh, what's this? We got a picture puzzle. Is there any other hints, though, for it? Probably in here. Just want to make sure I'm not overshooting anything. What are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations. Huh. You just have to be patient with this game because it's not all, you know, shooting, shooting the whole time. You know what I mean? It's it's like a detective story, so it's very like you know subdued at some points, and then it's combat heavy, and others. Start a artist colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been fifteen years or more now. Okay, so those are all the names. What's this, sir? You may need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. The guy in the pin earlier looked like Willem Dafoe. <laughs> that black goat will Kinda. be sacrificed to put an end to it all. The black goat then it will, will be sacrificed, be huh? No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Poncha train. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hal. 1, 11, 10. So why are those? So those are the three that should be... Let's take a picture of that because I can cycle them to unlock that combination. So I don't have to keep going back and forth remembering what the logos are. I could just pull up my phone, take a picture. All right. So be one eleven or ten. Okay, none of these match up what was labeled on there. Interesting. Whoa. That mirror reflection's a little rough. <laughs> okay. These paintings got some grim looking rot on. Okay, so all these names. Hmm. Well, did I do something? Did something happen? Well, I guess I, I guess I did something. Cause I can't turn them anymore. But did it do something over here? No. Yeah, I can't turn these anymore. Okay. But what did this do? Oh, 
Um, that was just a guess. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I was just tapping shit. All right, broken plate. A piece of a larger decorative plate. It has a dark and burnt quality. So this should be for the clock in the other room. Because there's plates for the boiler, and then there's plates for that clock. So that's kind of where we're trying to kind of figure out. Oh. Well, I'm assuming that's what this the painting puzzles did. Look at that oozy door. I can't go through that. Oh, shit. Well. Oh, my God. What the fuck? What the hell? All right, so we still need one more. What happened? Everything's normal again? Okay. Detect. Alright, find the tech. Or, sorry. Dressetto's boiler mentioned in the commonplace book. Investigate the well. Repair. So, we're already. We're working on repairing the clock. We just don't know where the other one is. Investigate the well in the kitchen garden. I guess we can investigate it again, but I don't have anything to pull up the, uh, that bucket that's in there. That's out here, right? Is it out here? Yeah. Okay, so I can't jump down, so I gotta... I guess we'll investigate this room first. I do love the aesthetic of the house, though. Very, you know, very cool. The setting and everything. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Thierry Bricklow, 1917. The Assetto was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 18. 30 bucks, huh? Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Dessetto kept a modest production of barrique tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Dessetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes his men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their seto was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, Inspector Legrasse of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Desseto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. So this is diving deeper the into the land and the history before so it, it was, was built no up. Profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, Good old Louisiana. The house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Key. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew 
called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. Mm. On September 29th, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of their seto still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Hmm. Just fell in a disarray after... Interesting. So, uh... So, basically, uh... The... You know, I mean, it's kind of going into the, uh... Um, the lore a little bit about the the town and uh, the lost plantations of Louisiana that kind of all preceded you know what we see here so it's kind of giving a little more backstory as to where we're at which I like because I don't know any knowledge of this you know place we're just kind of getting it in kind of a spoon spoonfuls here uh, little bits uh, what's up, Darth? It says, "How's the game so far?" I'm enjoying it. I mean, it's it's a uh, you know it's it's a slower burn right now. It's it's you know, like you said, like there's a lot of. It's interesting though because instead of me reading it, I can just let the audio people read it, not butcher it, and I can kind of follow along. Where most games, you got to read it yourself, or in some cases, you'll have two people talking back and forth. Like if it's a doctor and then like his assistant. If it's like Doctor Records, you'll hear both of their voices. So it's pretty cool, and it is a detective story. So again, lots of investigating, lots of reading, finding clues, you know, stuff like that. So this is, yes, it is very much like Resident Evil in terms of like style choices and this combat here, but it's not all shooting and 100 percent of the time. You know what I mean? It's very subdued in many ways. Ooh. Ooh. He said the same thing I, I said. Ooh. Well, I can't get it. I don't know. I was like, oh, if I had an axe, I can break it. But no, I don't have any melee. Can I shoot it? Ah, see, that'd be too easy. I mean, I'll take a boomstick any day, but I guess we have to wait for that one. It's wedge shot. I don't have anything to unwedge it, so. Oh! oh. Christ, the Lord, yeah. And there's mud on the wall, or on the floor. Shit. Ah, uh, the bolt cutters. Right from Resident Evil. Let's do it. crazy looking tree but our objective is to investigate the well
wasn't it back here? Wasn't it out here though, or am I going crazy? I thought the well was... Ah, it's over here. Okay, it's in the garden. I was like, where the fuck was it? But it's... Oh, I didn't see that. Hmm. So something with the garden hose. Ah, here we go. Got it. Okay. All right, so we got to turn on the water, which Well, and retrieve the bucket. There we go. So this should be the last one for the uh, clock. Because I think it was the boiler that also had the plates, but um, we're still working on that. Horror fans, is this hot garbage like I'm here, or is it pretty good? It's honestly not that bad. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever played. It's not the best thing I've ever played, but I'm kind of more in the middle. I mean, this is my, what, like, I'm playing this for like two hours at this point, almost, and uh, it's getting there. You know, I like the, the characters. Uh, I like the acting. It is very well done. I like the fact that we're in the 20s, and we're, you know, it kind of has a very noir kind of, you know, classic feel to it. It's a very different aesthetic, which I like. Um, but uh, it's not going to be for everybody because it is a very more of like of a slow burn with getting things started. People who either hate it or really like it. But there's a lot of puzzles. There's a lot of running back and forth. Um, but I, I don't think it's hot garbage. And I, I didn't really look at m much reviews because obviously I, I try to keep that, uh, you know, I try to keep off the internet when I'm ready to play a new game. It's wedged shut. That's, that's wedged shut too. Um, but it's not, I mean, I don't know what people are saying necessarily online, but if people are saying it's hot garbage, I wouldn't say it's hot garbage. I would just say it's not for everybody. Um, but if you're a survival horror fan, you might get a kick out of this or you might not it might be a little too uh you know subdued i guess as opposed to like a you know, resident evil type game but i will be the full judge of it because i will let you guys know how i feel about it as i'm playing it and then when i'm done i'll do a little like you know sub up a review you know and kind of a short not so much of a video, but, you know, maybe a little stream just being like, oh, this is what I feel it. I never go off reviews. Some of my favorite games and reviews have to try. That's true. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, um, I think I got this for, like, 53 bucks or something because it was on sale uh, for the pre-order. So, um, not a full 75, which is kind of nice, but 
Um, I figured, you know what, screw it, I'm going to play it on the channel anyway. So, uh, most people, you know, I put up a poll and most people wanted to see it. So, here we are. No, I enter name. I, I, a lot of people have been coming in here asking me about the Alien trailer. And truth be told is I just, I haven't seen it because I've just been playing this. I, I woke up a little later than I want, would have wanted to. Uh, but I uh, essentially rolled out of bed and jumped on here. So I have not been on the internet to see what people are uh, um, saying about it or uh, talking about Alien as well. A lot of our viewers last year shit on Hi-Fi Rush. One year later, it's the best game ever made because it's on PS5. Don't trust these big reviewers. Trust guys like Anthony. Thank you, Perry. Yeah, I just try to be honest, you know, and even though I don't have a uh, a finger on the pulse of every single new game coming out, I can at least judge a survival horror game uh, correctly, and, and you guys know that I'm never going to BS you. Um, and, uh, you know, if I, if I don't think it's worth full price or something like that, you know, I'll, I'll let you know. But I appreciate that. I think I've seen this somewhere. Uh, yes, it's in his book, actually. So let me... I'll have a picture of... Jeremy's book. So let me pull that up so we don't gotta keep going into the files. Uh, is this the same? I don't know if that's actually the same one. It doesn't look like the same emblem. Uh, let's see. That looks like it's. What's up, Ryan Fane, fellow member? Saw Dune 2 and it was a masterpiece. I haven't seen any Something of the Dunes, to be honest with you. Like no, no, no. That that's that's an edge piece here. We can't move the middle piece. Okay. I yeah, see that you can tell it's wrong because it needs to be on. Yeah, the Crow remake, I mean, I, you know, I did see the trailer. I'm not too into the Crow, like some other people, but... Take it or leave it, really. Oh, you can move the top piece. What the fuck? Okay, but that's... Kind of confused why I can't. Unless it just needs to be all out of whack anyway. But like that doesn't, you know what I mean? Like that doesn't look right. Like this has to go here. This has to go here. Oh, you can rotate them. Okay, so there. That's what makes this. There we go. I was like, can we rotate? And I didn't see the rotate marker. Okay. There we go. Well, that looks like it connects, right? Um... That looks more like it, and this should be up here with that. Um, I mean, the, the engravings look like they match up. It's a detective game with a flair of supernatural. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like that's 
the big takeaway is that if people are expecting a full-on survival horror game and a detective type game isn't really your thing definitely have to be warned but that's something I'll mention tonight on the podcast too like just to let people give people a heads up so they don't you know spend their money and expect something else you know there we go perfect I think the clock broke or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place I feel like that's important where these are. Yeah, like I just said, I think it's important. So if we look at this, so, because compared to his notebook, Any of these match what's in the notebook there? Um, so I see the oh, so that's that's on a six. The top number's on a three, and then that is on a four. So, hold on. Uh, let me see. Because then it would be. Better on the on the switch. Like <laughs> you, it's better on the switch. Uh, support Javis companies on America was you anti weave says Perry. That's amazing. Anti weave. That's so killer. Uh, I want to say. I mean, it's a little bit different than before because now it's it's like rotated, or at least it looks like it's rotated. Um, uh, hmm. Maybe I should rotate the whole. Hmm. And again, it doesn't look like anything. Like I keep referring back to this, like this Jeremy uh, file, but it's so like not helping me. <laughs> Um, all I have now is the, the numbers above that I could use as a reference, you know what I mean? So if we look at this again, again, six, six, three and four, right? Interesting.
take a look at this one more time. Uh, Mental Elf Ambassador says, I played this for a few hours. Some of the reviews are way too harsh. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen much of the reviews, but I think some reviewers, you know, they also don't play a lot of survival horror games, so they might just be a little, you know, annoyed. Um, who knows? But the issues of the 08 remake was modernized. This one isn't. So these reviewers are just little bitches. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. It's like that's why it's like, look, man, you know, if you guys trust me or you trust, you know, your favorite YouTuber, if they're playing it, you know, uh, or whatever, you know, I feel like people that are genuine fans and they don't have, you know, they're not getting, uh, you know, paid. There we go. They're not getting paid to say certain things or not There's get paid to say shitty black things. Glass. It's showing me something. It's the hallway outside Jeremy's room. And that hallway is probably going to be a fucking possessed hallway. If there's anything that we've seen so far, we can't trust. It's like Silent Hill. It will just pull you in. But who knows, maybe, you know, when I get to more parts of this game and things start to pick up and I'm like, all right, you know, this is how I feel about it. Maybe the combat picks up, it's a lot more heavy. But so far, it's doing shit like this where it's very psychological, mixed with a detective story. You are investigating, you're not just someone sent in to shoot shit, you know? Does this look next gen? Um, you know, the graphics aren't bad. They, they could be worse, but to be honest with you, I was expecting a little bit more polished graphics. If I'm if I'm being honest, so far from what I've seen, I don't have a problem with like really how it runs. Like I said, there's a few frame dips here and there, but um, it doesn't look horrible. Don't get me wrong. But do I wish it looked a little bit more like spruced up? Yeah, that I can say. That's a fair critique, I guess, so far. Again, as you see, this doesn't look, you know, this doesn't look horrible. The outside sections look great. The lighting is particularly great in this. Um, just how it messes with the different contrasts and the shadows and stuff. It is pretty cool. I don't know what it's getting us into right now, so. Gotta be ready to fight some fools. I don't know what engine this is on, actually. Oil rig report. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for Monday. delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, the painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hotwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Mr. Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain. He means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil powered the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. Hmm. This is the devil that guides us now. Oh shit. So that's what I'm saying. Sometimes it will just change voices, mm. like by the by the end of it. You're like, okay, what the fuck happened here? Do we get any weapons again? Because I would appreciate some more. breakaway weapons, but I don't have the most ammo here. There's also still that shotgun that we can't get yet, so I don't know what's going on with that. It didn't look like there was like a key or anything like that. Well. 
Like, all of this looks good, you know? Like how it messes with the... With the nighttime and stuff like that. Then when you go into the house, it looks like the... The one thing I do like about it is the 1920s aesthetic. I always find that very, you know, very cool, especially in the de detective setting. So I do think the attention to detail is very, very, uh, very well done. Is there anybody I can throw this at? Anybody? Ooh. Crank? Like a Resident Evil crank? Probably. A jetty key. Okay. Hmm. You found the dark picture pictures games. I really love them. I would actually love a RE game made in that style. Unreal Engine 4 says John. Yes. Well, there you go. If it's Unreal Engine. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't look like I said, it doesn't look that bad. It's just like you know, the, this game it's, it's not like it, it's going to pop in many ways in terms of like oh man, that's like it's, it's very, very much more gritty. But like I said, I can say that I do really appreciate the uh, locked, the older aesthetic. So but yeah, Dark Pictures, I haven't played any of them. I've heard of them. You can't jump up there or anything like that. Okay. So we got the jetty key. They're giving us objects to throw at people, but I don't see anybody yet. So I don't know what's going on. Just checking, making sure we got all the ammo. Can we climb back up? No? Really? Ah. What? Can't observe? What? Okay. We got the jetty key, but where the fuck do we use it? Unless I missed something in here. What's up, Brandon? He says, remember, Aunt, you aren't alone in the dark. Bo Bridges' eyebrows are looking for you. Follow, follow them for guidance. Bo Bridges is always there for us in spirit. Always. Okay. Always, always, always. There's something missing. Yeah, we need, like, a crank or something there. Can I go through the other... But interesting. It's just another object to throw. Hmm. What's up, Matt? Remember Matt? Remember Brandon in the house? Can't climb back up though. That's so fucking weird. So okay, so I have to do something out here. With the keys that I got, but I don't see another spot to use the key. The key might be for a shed. Yeah, that's a good point. But I'm seeing if there's anything. So far, so good. I am enjoying it. Let's get, things are getting started, so... It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. But I feel like if I drop down here, I'm gonna die. Because there's a gator down here. So we might have our first death. So let me save the game. I know it auto-saves, but... Let me just save the game. And... Can we... There's something missing. Oh, it doesn't let me drop down. Wow, okay. I was like, maybe I could drop down and, like, 
shuffle somewhere else, but okay, it doesn't let me drop down. Interesting, okay. Okay, I have a jetty key and nothing. Yeah, like little things like that, like you see little stutters that happen. Hopefully that's all stuff that can get, you know, patched. Little frame dips here and there. Okay, uh, let's go back in the first cabin. Oh, wait, is it this door? Ah, I'm a fucking idiot. The combat's not too bad. Um, it takes a little getting used to because you could switch between, obviously, melee and uh, attacking, but it obviously, you know, it aims like Resident Evil. It's not, you know, uh, anything too crazy. RB or uh, R1, depending on what you're playing it on, is your melee. So, for example, here's a pipe, right? pick up the pipe, I can go from aiming the gun to using the pipe, which I like because I don't have to sit there and switch between weapons. But look at all that out there. Look. One, two, three of them. They're kind of coming my way, but I'm going to try to save my ammo if I can. A key item. Bridge lever. There we go. <sighs> Got it. So if I'm full on drink, we'll drink one, take one. There we go. Alright. Are they still coming my way? No, they're just off in the distance. Alright, we'll let them do what they gotta do. We gotta make sure we don't get hit by the uh, the gator. Good old typewriter. It is the 20s after all, so. But yeah, Bell, you'll see some of the combat probably coming up. Oh, shit! Okay, that... That, uh, I was not expecting that. Well, you'll see the combat now. Whew. Alright. That got me, chat room. I was like, oh my god, what the fuck? I was not expecting that. That that happened quickly. Okay. I don't know what the hell that was, but we killed it. Only took a few shots. Better work. <gasps> oh. Well, it doesn't seem like the sturdiest thing, but here we are. Alright, uh, let's make sure we got everything. Because again, ammo is pretty scarce so far. We are just on standard mode. Um, I feel like we can shoot this down, but. I don't know what we'll need that for. Maybe it's just there for show. Another pipe. Another pipe! Get down! Flying enemies. Yeah, like that. That's not good. You see that? That's a little janky. It's like I can't handle the fire and the switching. There we go. 
Oh. Another one? Where the fuck are you? Where are you showing up? Okay, so it shows you when... I was going to say, I wish the weapons had like a breakaway meter, but I guess it kind of shows you before it happens. All right. Well, in that case, give me the pipe back. Because the axe is almost done. That's what it really comes down to. It's pretty weak. I just need something to break it. Just knowing when to use a <laughs> breakthrough barrier. Uh, when to use your ammo and when to use melee. Oh, shovel. Nice. Bloody shovel. I'll I'll take that. Check this room out yet. Again, you gotta take your time, look through everything. It's the key. Carlos, what's up, brother? Another member in the house, longtime supporter. Appreciate that. I love the boxes that you open up and you're expecting like some kind of ammo, and it's like, nope, fuck you. You get nothing. So far, so good. I'm actually, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Like I said, it's a slower, um, it's a slower start, but it's, it's getting there. Things are moving. someone else. Oh, those fucking ground dwellers. It is out on PC. It actually got cracked on PC, too, so... If you want to try before you buy, you may. Another melee. statue. Alright. Oh, fuck. Headshots are the way. this fucking ammo. Hmm. Come on, give me a weapon. We had like a few melee items back there. Now it's like, nope. Sneak. Oh, no, no. 
did anything. Set them. I can. Okay. <laughs> I like how he just runs away. Like, oh. There we go. I didn't mean to shoot. I meant to throw, and I double tapped and I shot it. Kevin May says, I went to GameStop and asked the guy, I want to pre order Lord of the Dark. And I asked, oh, well, will it look better on the Series X or the PS5? And he said, no, the consoles are going to look the same. Ah, uh, that's so funny. GameStop 101. But Thunder's in here making his appearance. Again, one of the longest running members, one of the most gifted member, pretty much is the most gifted membership right next to Nick Noguera as well. Both of them always gifting back to the community. And five members, courtesy of Thunders Productions, Kamame, uh, Bakaboo, Cannibal Ritual, Marvelous D, Resident Dr. Evil are now members courtesy of Thunders Productions. Thank you, man. Really appreciate the love on this uh, Lone in the Dark stream here. As you can see, I kind of screwed up there, but let's see if we can uh, reset them. So you can reset the enemies, because I noticed they do follow you. Thank you for the other four ninety nine, dollars 99 And uh, let us know what you think of Alone in the Dark. When you, are you picking it up today, or did you already pick it up? Are you going to pick it up after work? Alright, I'm going to try to sneak, because apparently you can sneak. But can you do stealth kills? 4K on PC is the way to go. Yeah, I would say, you know, PC is always going to be, you know, the way to go, especially nowadays uh, with how some of these consoles handle this shit. Yeah, like, can I stealth kill him? Like, he's turned around. Oh. <sighs> Fuck you. Rounds again. What is this? Tells me we gotta move. Oh, we gotta balance. Don't fall in the lava. Forces, Carl. That was a nice one. Tough cloth. Yeah, come on, Carby. Wouldn't you rather fall to your death than go up in flames? 
the only thing that was up there. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to burn. Where the fuck do I go? We go back over here. There's literally flames blocking every single way. Oh, can I go down here? Ah, see, I fucking missed this. Yeah. Don't lose your hat. The power's in the hat. I don't know how I missed that. I just wasn't looking up. I like the music though in the game too. It's very, very classic detective. Um, okay, don't know what that is, but there's only one way to find out in the soup. Oh! Say dogs can look up. Nice little body chilling there. Not bad, Dwayne. I mean, it's a uh, it's a slower start. It's not all Resident Evil esque, you know what I mean? Like some people might be expecting when they play this game. It's the hateful mount. Jeff. But uh, I am enjoying it. It's a detective, much more of a slow burn type game. But I am enjoying it. Like this story does kind of have me intrigued. You know, I'm curious to see where they're taking this. So, so far, not bad. And when I, before I wrap up this part today, I'll kind of let you know my thoughts so far uh, by the end of it. Not that I'm beating it today, but you know what I mean. Getting through a little bit of it. Don't come any closer. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You're after Jeremy, too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon DeSetto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet. We need 
more survival horror games. Anthony is hosting tonight. Yes, I will be, uh, I will be, uh, taking charge of game complainers for tonight. Uh, Perry will be calling in, um, because like you mentioned in the chat, um, he's still going to be getting better for the next couple days, but the show must go on. And, uh, Perry will be calling in, and, uh, yeah, we're going to be, um, talking news and talking about this game and whatever else we can dig up. Okay. Ten for painting, but thin enough to slide through the crack of a door. Okay. Reflections on the Power of the Verb in Certain Texts by Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions yes, Brandon, um, and rigid, Detective is voiced and mo by David Harbour. Comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Interesting. So, uh, let's see. I agree, Thunders. We definitely need more survival horror games through this momentum that we're getting. Do I mainly care for gameplay or achievements as well? Uh, always gameplay first. Achievements, I love. I love. I've been getting achievements for years, but uh, I always kind of circle back and get uh, achievements after the fact. You know, once I play through it the first time, I don't really look through um, some achievements like to be like, all right, I got to make sure I get them first playthrough. I'll usually just play through it, experience the gameplay and the story, then I'll go back and get achievements. Oh, we got the sitting room key as well. All right. And still can't get that. But I'm curious how we get that. And Seabash is saying, I feel like the setting and era work well with the pace, in my opinion. Yeah, honestly, I mean, no complaints here. Because <clears throat> I wasn't really going in expecting this to be like, you know, guns blazing you know, upgrading stuff. Like, this is just very, you know, it's very story and character driven. Um, just stopped in for a few minutes. I'll see you guys later. Good luck on the play. Thank you, Thunders. Appreciate that, buddy. Thank you for the gifted memberships. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you around in another live stream shortly. Dwayne says, glad to hear. So far, I've heard some mixed reviews. Low scores, not good feedback, but I know there's a quite few puzzles and intel. There is. And, you know, reviewers, you got to take with a grain of salt because they're a lot of them are just bitchy, whiny, and some of them don't even play these style of games. So they take that out on the review. So trust someone like me who you watch and you're a fan of or trust, you know, some of your other favorite YouTubers that maybe are playing it unless they have, you know, shitty takes. But that's on them, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah. Because what was the first thing that I heard when we did Callisto, when I started Callisto? was, oh, the review, you know, the reviews, before I even clicked start new game on that, you know, the whole chat was uh, erupting with, you know, the reviews, and uh, I ended up playing it, and I ended up really enjoying it, because I kind of shut out all of that, um, that noise, you know? Were there flaws with it? Yes, it wasn't a perfect game, but they did fix a lot of that stuff after the fact, and, uh, It was yeah. a bust. The oil rig and the hateful mound led him nowhere closer to finding Jeremy. Combe was sure he had struck gold when he found Jeremy's bag, but it was just a trap set by Lottie, another of DeSetto's orderlies. Things got out of hand real quick, 
but somehow Combi managed to find his way back to Deceto, none the wiser. At least it was one item off his list. Now he had to figure out what to do with the boiler. It's time for the... I like how it, it explains like what we're going through and what he just did when you check the objectives. It's kind of kind of cool. Um, not bad, Tyler. So far, I'm enjoying it. As you see, we're in Chapter 2, so I think we might be heading on to Chapter 3 in a little bit here. Um, but do we even have all the pieces for the boiler puzzle? Because I don't even think I could do that yet. <laughs> nice one, Brandon. Bunch of losers over there, that's for sure. So this might be for those wedge doors that we saw. Which I think we have to go... I already came from here. Um, let's see. Something missing. A locked globe, huh? This must be that kid's room. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Why does she seem so familiar? Huh. It's not creepy at all. Same thing with these dolls. Looks perfectly normal and not scary. But that's the way the dolls looked back then, so... <laughs> else in here. At least a cinematic trailer for the Captain America and Black Panther game looks cool. Need to see gameplay. Comes out next year. Oh, okay. Damn. So there's a lot of announcements coming out today. Jesus. Well, not announcements, but I guess reveals, I guess. somewhere. I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Appreciate that, Dwayne. Do you know where she is? Appreciate you having I'd an open mind. And most of you in the chat do, so I appreciate upset. that. You know? Besides, all my regulars know what's up. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCarthy might find me. Hey. Was he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Condy. You should know that by now. Hmm. It's okay. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. Pain relief and the fourth version of the company's popular recipe. So this is where Cassandra Beauregard ends up. It's another one of those strange padlocks. I just guessed on the last one, but... It's definitely a piece that we need. There you go, Brennan. There's more of that rod again. Like it's guiding me to do something. Or what? If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the stains of rot. Hmm. Okay, so we need the key for that for that medicine uh chest, which is in that one room. I've just been guessing these. <laughs> it's been working in my favor. I've yet to actually know where those fucking written solutions are. Okay. So we have... This, I think, is for... The boiler? We still haven't done the boiler, and that's still, like, an objective. But now we gotta find... I'm not going to walk out of this now. I need to help Emily save her own. The fuck? I know there's the combination lock in here, which we don't have the solution for. There's not save too. I know it auto saves, but I need the key. Don't have the. 
that. I gotta find those wedge doors, because I think what I have can unlock them, and I'm sure I can find the key to that medicine cabinet. Hmm. I need a key. Okay. Probably put that, move that ladder so I can climb down. It's wedge shot. There we go. It worked. Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Oh, it's the nymph. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, Detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? What's up, Dave? Good I to heard see you here, brother. Was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. It fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening still harmonious. I, uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss. I love how he always finishes every drink that someone pours him, you know? <laughs> it's just so funny. All right, so there's a whole nother area, but we need to find something for that medicine cabinet. Nice. Right on her side, let me see if there's... Besides that weird noise, there's nothing what about down here. I need the key. Ah, okay, the six is down here. Something. It was key. Medicine box key. Yay. That's what we needed. Oh, 
dining room. There's more of that aggressive rot. On the commonplace of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. Okay, so she just says we must remain alone in the dark, but look at the text. It's fucked up. Look, we must remain alone in the dark. <laughs> There's a typo. I found it. Even in the actual note, it says alone in the dark, but then at the bottom, it's like we must remain alone in the dark. Alone in the dark. I'm just being a dick. All right. All right. So now that that's unlocked, where was this medicine cabinet again? I know it was in one of the bedrooms. Oh, this should be fun. Is this it? There it is. Dr. Jenkins, how are you liking the game so far? I tuned in a few minutes ago. Not bad, Dave. Um, it's more of like a slower detective story. Uh, you know, it does have combat. There is, you know, psychological twists. Um, you know, pretty cool combat. There's melee. There's, you know, just gunplay. Very light, though. But, uh, you know, it's a very slowed down. It takes place in the 20s, as you can see the aesthetic, which is very cool. And it's, it's more of a detective game, so you really have to slow down, look for everything, figure out the puzzles, read stuff, you know. So I think some people might be a little thrown off by that, where I find it pretty intriguing. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I think so far it's not bad. And I'm only a few hours in, but I am enjoying it so far, so. I thought that was another wedge door. Okay, so we have to go back to... Um, out here, right? Yeah. I like games like this, but they can be a slow burn, so I get where... Yeah, that, that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. Very much of a slow burn. Might not be everybody's taste, but it is... It is uh, um, doing a good job of getting me into the story and the characters. Like, I'm very interested to see where this goes and where they're going to take it. This is the room that we need, right? Uh... We can't rotate, okay.
it's They huh. symbolize anything that's around here. I mean, there, there's rot on every bottle, but I'm just trying to see, like... I feel like, um... Ah, there we go. There must be something important to find here. Maybe it has something to do with the numbers on the labels. Two, five, one, seven. Okay, so we already did it. Okay. Two, five, one, seven. Two, five. I'm pretty sure that's a one. Seven. Ruth seemed like a handful. Her talk about Jeremy. Okay. So we still got to do the fucking boiler. being in the basement. Obviously. Mm. I need the key. There's also another wedge door that I'm forgetting on where it is. Oh, okay, so I think this is on the second floor. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Is it the, uh, is it what we saw in the thing? Or in the bottles? think so. Hmm. All right. 
just want to see if I can. Did everything in here. Damn, how the fuck do I get to the other side there? Because the the block door, I feel like that's what we can wedge out, you know, with the uh, with the tool that we have. But how the fuck? Okay, so that's. on the opposite side. Okay. So we do, or we're supposed to have this piece for the I need the key. We don't have that. This boiler puzzle. It worked. Thank you, John. Appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the stream. As much as I am, it's it's fun to play something new. That's for sure. I don't think I have everything I need. Whoa! What the hell? All right. Need something for our telescope. The Barlow lens instructions: to double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appear. Okay. Cellar key, yay! All right, it's definitely what we need for the boiler, I think. What's this? Finished a set of some kind of collectibles. Shout out to the people who support the different content, real ones. Yeah, definitely, Dave. Definitely. I know it's probably not going to be the most popular stream. Also, I know there's a million other people streaming this, but I'm going to break the mold a little bit. Like I said, I'm, you know, I'm really trying to um, do some different things this year, and I'm going to make that my goal. And like I said, that. The third channel is among those goals. Even if I don't have a PC right now, I'm getting towards one, you know, like I'm, I'm getting there. But, you know, I think I should just start uh, firing on all cylinders, I think. So just talking about it, you know. On top of bringing in different content on this channel, uh, as far as, you know, survival horror and such. Why does, why does it start and stop, this music?
I think that's just something that's happening. That's fine. Um, cellar key. The cellar door. Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win, because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these Rev things. I with the cellar door. Yeah, exactly. You all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. Okay. It's another plate for the Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. Okay, so we need... So we need to find out where she threw that last piece. You need one more piece. And we gotta use the cellar key, so it's gotta be... In here? I guess so. He's like, what the fuck? Sounds promising. What are you doing in my kitchen? I assure you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I promise I didn't, you. I, Mr. Hartwood is I, nowhere near my for... kitchen, and neither should you be. Don't make I, me I, kick I you out to... of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Shit. That's some fucking marguerite shit right there. <laughs> Immediately tries to go back in. Condi was in shock, but also a little embarrassed. The housekeeper was furious to find him searching through the kitchen and had run him out of the room. I'm assuming our piece of the puzzle isn't in there. Reminds me of a Western hopper from Stranger Things. Yeah, basically, right? So you got 1920s version. Because it's like, it still has like his bannerisms and, you know, just like. Really good actor. Damn right. Got the, got the key. That she tossed it behind something. Ah, circuit box. All right. Well, we got nothing for that. And it looks like we can't walk through here without getting electrocuted. But that is a valve handle, though, that we need. switch right here. It worked. Give it a valve handle. Now where is the piece? 
Oh no. Oh no. 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 <laughs> no way I'm stuck. No chat room. No. No. Fuck. Bro, what the fuck? No. That's a GG. Like what? Where's my autosave? Where is it? Please just... Uh, oh, thank God. It worked. Oh, thank God. Fucking hell. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was the first bug I encountered. Alright, thank God. Thank God for autosave. Thank God. Thank God. Alright. Oh, got the shovel. You're out of bounds strat in the work starting now. Sphere rooms, get on it. I know, right? Take notes. For some reason, they remind me of the molded from RE7. I don't like that. Today we're trying to see a day to remember a story so far or what? I know tickets go on sale Friday, of course, but Jeremy? Oh shit. Um Is this Jeremy or Ethan? the body not in this dimension I'll tell you that much bunch of fucking eyeballs very cool and effective imagery I think how they kind of work the psychological horror angle that stain looks like some kind of The rot has been the common theme. Okay, so this I think we actually have a picture of from Jeremy's notebook. I took a picture on my phone. So let me see if we can line this up. Yeah, this one. Here it is. It's this photo that I took from his journal. So let me see if we can line it up. This goes here. If there was more new stories of far, I'd be hype about it, but I'm still down. Well, the album's coming out in June, uh, Dave. Stories of Far's album's coming out in June, I think. I think it's like June. It's the same month that they're touring. They're putting out a new single Thursday. Then Stories of Far's new album comes out the same month they kick off that tour. So I guess they're kicking off their album tour with a day to remember, which, you know, it's not a, it's not a bad one. But yeah, it's um, I Want to Disappear is what it's called, and I think it's coming out June. So for some reason, they didn't post it on all social media, but it was like posted on some other thing, and it's like official, so... Yeah, apparently we are getting stores so far in June, just like that. Like, just out of nowhere. Um, 
Which, you know, I guess better late than never, right? Trying to match it up with this fucking... Yeah, if they play that or at least part of it, that would be dope. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I think they're trying to not tour until they have new music. So I think, um, I mean, to be fair, we were expecting it to be a lot sooner, so... Trying to piece the church together, too. That looks about right, though. And then... These are other... But yeah, I think they're... Eight, so the only sketchy thing, Dave, about that show is it's in Atlantic City and there's no venue yet. Like, they didn't even say a venue. They just said, oh, Atlantic City. And it's like, okay. I mean, that's cool because it's really close, you know, relatively close to my house. But, you know, where in Atlantic City? What venue? Because I, I don't even know what venue they could fucking possibly do shit on. But... Because Atlantic City doesn't have a lot of, like, venues with a lot of space like that, you know, for a show like that. But we'll see. I think the only closest one after that's Newark. They're not doing... Because, you know, them doing the summer stage in Asbury would be fucking too... Make too much sense. Like, I don't know why they're, they're not doing that, but... Just something to think about, because it is a summer show. It is already coming up in June. That's the problem, is that they announce this shit so soon. Uh, the clouds look right. I feel like I'm, like, a hair off here. Looks about right. There. We go. Hmm. Seven, five, nine. So this is probably...
must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. Dead or was it all fiction? Investigate the small parlor. The gun in the parlor. Okay. Pretty sure the only time they played Atlantic City was Beach Warp 25th, but I'm not sure. Honestly? I knew it. I knew it would work. That's, uh, good that's good honestly, this. yeah, that's it. I think that's like the only, and again, are they just going to have it on the beach? Like, is that what they're going to do for this show? That That's what makes me... Yeah, because, like, and, bro, like, the only thing, like, you know, like, for example, like, Break of Benjamin, right? They're playing Hard Rock, like, this Friday, right? But, like, a day to remember is not going to play in a casino. Like, they're such a bigger band. So I feel like, and, you know, there's no room for pits or anything like that. So the only thing that would make sense would be a beach show. The volume is too low. Nah, the volume is fine, man. I've already adjusted the volume. But if you want it turned up, I'll turn it up for you. Because you're special, Dorg86. You're special. For you, in particular, you get a volume increase. So it literally made us transport. The Hartwood's family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. No, I feel like she's hiding secrets from you, buddy. more enemies around. Anytime there's objects to throw. Shoddy shells. Oh, shit. I think it's about time we get our boomstick, son. Now, what do we got here? Hollow door. There's something missing. Isn't there always something missing? a sledge. Fuck yeah. Whoa, what the fuck? That's a different enemy. Nice. Broke the sledge right on him. Sketched this chapel in his book, so it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it, though. We do have shoddy shells, though, so we gotta get that boomstick. D. Yes, that was thanks to courtesy of Thunders. Of why you are a member again, so shout out to him. Always holding it down. I can't 
really sneak past these enemies, so. Fucking nuts. Why do you aim? Fuck you. Wow. I have to walk this slow? Oh, well, that's the first death. That's a little annoying. Getting the game but haven't decided or thinking about getting the game haven't decided yet. It's not it's not bad. I am enjoying it. It's more of a slower burn. As you can see, the combat is a little different. Mm. We missed those pistol bullets last time. Fucking hell, dude. I guess I really have to start throwing distractions. They were mosh and heart. Yeah, man. What the fuck? I, like, couldn't walk through the fucking water because he walks so slow. Like, Alright, this is how we're going to fucking play it. See, I think what the game wants me to do is to throw an object... So they get distracted, but I don't know how well that actually works. And this guy already sees me. Yeah, we need a shotgun pronto. We got fucking one round left. One second, chat. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Oh, it's feeding time for the kitties. Revolver just does take some time to reload. Give me, give me those pistols. We need it. We need it. 
Any more medallions, though? No? Alright, so we came through here. That's blocked. Pistol bullet's full. I think we'd run into that problem. No medallions, huh? We need two more medallions. Oh, here's one. Look at that. So you go through all your fucking resources, let me tell you. That can't be right. Huh. Leonard out seeing all of part one, but we'll watch. So how's the combat so far? Tanky glitching when firing. 
It's not really tanky glitchy. I think it's definitely overwhelming when there's multiple enemies. Uh, that's what I'm finding, you know? There we go. Yeah, it's a little tough because he runs really slow. And so trying to get out and evade. Maybe I have to use this shove more, which is you know, B. Oh, fuck! Too many of them. Yeah, keep running. Run! Why couldn't I run past that guy? I really don't know. Slow mo. What the fuck is that? No upgrading now. Not that I've seen. Yeah, see, that time I was able to scoot past that guy. But like, what the fuck? There we go. The last medallion. We can go back to the top. Huh? Oh, thank God that's over. Huh. Just gotta match up the connecting circle. That's what I'm doing, or the connecting edges. Oh shit! Who the fuck? Please don't touch her, Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made... I made a terrible... With someone. The dark man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert. Temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Tarawea? Why did you want to go there? Oh, I can't go there. Not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? 
Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should I- Look out! Behind you! Run. Oh shit. Don't let it take Dark you! Man. Oh. Everything clue. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence. That was and the first glimpse of dark like man. glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again. Perhaps in Terroria. Oh, my love. Jeremy. Hmm. What did you do? She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Yeah. Where's Jeremy's luggage? It's not in here, right? Herosi's body looked unharmed. Acted, Mr. Defoe. I don't remember. Ah, here. here it is. Ah, the lens. Telescope lens. Why would he lock that up? I'm not going to walk out of this now. I need to help Emily save her own. It also wants me to look at the, the gun in the parlor. I need the key. of Wes. Hey, Ant, gonna have to restart the stream. Just got home from work. Excited to watch. Thank you, man. Thanks for being a member still, and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. So far, I am thoroughly enjoying the game. Uh, I'm about to wrap up here in a little bit. You know, kind of explain 
uh, how I feel about it so far. Um, I just wanted to... I didn't even get that last time. Fuck. What the fuck? was that telescope room? I know it was... I think it was up here, because I think that, that leads to the one... This leads to her. Where she was, I know. Yeah, that leads to that. Finally gold status. Hell yeah, Wes. Or David. Whatever your name is. <laughs> Alright. I think this will be a good spot to stop for now because we just have to do the, uh, we just gotta do the telescope thing. We're still in chapter two. So, I feel like we're just at the end of chapter two. Um, but, yeah, two chapters in. I don't know how many chapters there are overall, but um, Alone in the Dark, man, this is uh, it's interesting. It's a very slow burn type game. Uh, I will say that. I think if people are expecting, you know, Resident Evil remake, you know, Resident Evil two remake rather, Resident Evil three or four, like stuff like that, that's not going to be the case. This is a story that takes place in the 20s it's a very you know like i said slow burn it's a slow start it tries to kind of you know pull you into the story to the universe to the characters and there's dimension jumping there's you know psychological paranormal stuff going on um you know there's melee combat mixed with the shooting which i think does work well the only problems that i have with the combat is that it just seems like he's very clunky and slow your character and it is kind of very tough when enemies are ganging up on you. I, I see, it seems like you want to keep your distance and try to pick them off, but the encounter can be easily messed up if you, you know, don't have enough items or ammo. But um, I like the fact that it's very minimal. Uh, it is a detec detective story, though, so you are going to be reading a lot, listening to files. I like the fact that they play back the audio for you. That is kind of cool. Um, you know, looking at puzzles, trying to solve stuff. It doesn't throw everything your way. There is an option that you can... I think it's in the options here. I have it turned off. But if you want, they have uh, an accessibility. So player guidance is old school, so there's not many, um, uh, you know, like... When examining environment, objects that can be interacted with will be more visible. That's interesting. Dynamic objects provide hints on what needs to be done to progress. That's interesting map highlighting so you can adjust all these and then obviously I'm on standard but old school or you could change it to modern which gives you hints and does everything so you can play it either which way I'm trying the old school way it's, it is kind of fun this way just looking at the map trying to remember where stuff is a little bit it is a little confusing um, but the the graphics and the attention to detail are actually pretty damn good um, I think it was horror fan who was asking if it felt like a next-gen game and it, or current gen game, I should say, because we're already in the middle of this gen. Um, but I would say, yeah, I mean, it's still, it feels refreshing. I mean, it doesn't look the greatest like I've ever seen, the best graphics I've ever seen. But to be honest with you, I do think the graphics work very well uh, with the uh, time period and the aesthetic. And the music is very well done. The acting is very well done. So I am enjoying this so far, you know, um, being about four hours in. Um, you know, and obviously we're taking our time. We're not rushing through it. So that's kind of the game that they want you to play. They want you to play a game that is, you know, not all action. It's not all combat all the time, but it balances, you know, puzzles mixed with different characters. And we're starting to find out more about this family and Jeremy and kind of what his running from the dark man ensues. And we just saw a glimpse of him in that cutscene. So yeah, we'll see, um, uh, once we, you know, kind of get through it all and I'll kind of see how, you know, this kind of holds up with other survival horror games. But so far, 
I will say that if you are a survival horror fan, um, just, you know, be a little mindful that this is a different paced game. And I think many of us survival horror fans have patience for, you know, puzzles and exploring and like that's that's what we want. So to be honest, like it's hitting it out of the park in all those areas. Um, it's just a matter of how the characters and the stories kind of hold up through the rest of this and how the, the narrative is. Um, but I will say that I am enjoying this so far. The story does have me, you know, hooked. And, uh, you know, I think that, um, you know, if, if you really are thinking about getting it and you are a fan of Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Alone in the Dark, uh, I, I don't think you'll be completely disappointed. Um, I can't really answer if it's worth full price yet because I haven't really beaten it or finished it. But, um, you know, I can say that if you're leaning more into the realm of like, you know, you're into these kind of games, I don't think you'll be completely disappointed. However, you know, I'm trying to give you an honest take, an honest spin, uh, something that these, you know, pussy reviewers online don't do all the time uh, or these articles or these people that write all this stuff. So, you know, I'm just giving you a fair critique so far the only thing that i really can say is that like there's some stuttering uh some frame rate drops i'm playing this on a series x um so some of that stuff can probably be fixed and uh, some of the combat can get a little clunky when there's a lot going on multiple enemies attacking you um those are the only like critiques that i can find right now that i played but uh, other than that i am enjoying it this is a fast four hours already um but i am going to be Signing off now. Uh, what's up, RWK? You joined right at the end. Um, but, uh, yeah, I got to get some stuff ready for tonight because I will be um, me, uh, I believe in me. Sorry, I can't even talk. Me, Frank, and Fred, I believe, will be uh, doing Game Complainers tonight. Perry will also be calling in for a little bit, but uh, he's just um, waiting to get a little bit better. Uh, so he'll be hopefully be good by the weekend. So uh, we'll talk more about this on the podcast and some, obviously, gaming news. So you know where to catch me every Wednesday night, The Game Complainers. Um, and we usually start at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, yeah, that's Alone in the Dark Part 1. Uh, we'll try to do a Part 2 either later this week, if not next week, because I have to start Cold Fear, uh, which will probably be Saturday. Uh, but, yeah, 9.30 p.m. tonight, RWK, to give you that. And, uh, yes, so I will be, uh, back then. And until then, I'm going to take a little bit of break, um, between now and 9 30, uh, and get the layout ready and everything. Cause I got, I got to stream it. I'm technically hosting it from my computer tonight because again, Perry is, uh, not home. Uh, so he's just resting up to get better, but, uh, he'll be on the show as well. So you'll see some Perry tonight. Well, you'll hear some Perry tonight. He'll be joining with audio. Um, but yes, so thank you for the love and support. Always hit the like button if you haven't. Subscribe if you're brand new. LTRE on all the socials, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And merch down below. And uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's, it's a nice little change of pace to play something brand new, something a little refreshing, and uh, something that calls back to a genre that we enjoy. Even if it is a remake, reimagining, reboot, whatever you want to call this version, the seventh installment in the Alone in the Dark series. So, thank you guys for all the support. I want to shout out um, the donations real quick uh, and all the members that are long supporting Quentin Bauer for 26 months, Lucius for eight months, K for 30 months, Camame with the 499, Thunders with the gifted memberships at the five, and Camame again with the 499. Much love to all of you guys and gals, and I will catch you guys later in the next one. And I'll see you guys in part two of Alone in the Dark. And before part two in Alone in the Dark, like I said, Cold Fear, the voted on survival horror stream by Patreon and members, will start on Saturday with Cold Fear, another game I've never played. So we're going in blind for a few games this week, so uh, we'll see what happens. But anyway, take care, love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.